In this module, we will cover exclusions. Let's say you need to organize your closet. And you need to get rid of a lot of old stuff. But when you start throwing items out, you see an old shirt you once loved and decide to save it. What defines this shirt? The brand? The color? The fact that it is water resistant? In this case, it was love. Going back to endpoints. As we offer protections on so many vectors, we will block and remove malicious and suspicious files. But what if you need to make an exception? The exception type will change based on the capability it's part of. For example, if you use URL filtering, the exclusion will be a URL. If the capability is antibot, the exclusion would be a process, a URL, an IP range, a domain name, or a protection name. And if we're talking about anti-malware, the exclusion will be a path which we won't scan. Microsoft offers a great web page with their applications and the exclusions that need to be configured in order for the applications to run smoothly. More information and examples can be found in the Checkpoint Support Center under SK 1284-72. From the Policy tab, I will go to the Threat Emulation Capability and the Exclusion Center. I'm going to go to Antibot Exclusions, select Add. And I can select for a process to exclude, a URL, a domain from where we will exclude, a protection name, IP range. So it depends on the capability and then you'll just have to go and configure the right exclusions. Thank you for watching.